Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends all across the globe today, and welcome back to the Mod Showcase with Leaf. As always, it is so great to have you guys here. I'm just gonna assume I'm at like 4999 right now, but by the time that this comes out on Sunday, we're gonna have hit 5k, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support over the past year. You guys have been absolutely amazing, and I cannot thank you guys enough. But with all that being said, this is the first mod showcase of 2022? 2023? I don't know. Time just moves by so weird. 2022, hell yeah. So with all that being said, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to every single one of you guys at home, all 5,000 plus of you guys. I wouldn't be doing this every single week if it weren't for all of you at home. So I just want to say thank you so much for all you guys supporting me i love you guys and it's just been a total blast but hey let's celebrate with some wonderful new mods shall we now that we're gonna start off with not a new mod this is actually an older mod this is an update to the palm pack by nicholas lion rider but also in conjunction with ndp these were originally commissioned by ndp well for ndp by someone else but unfortunately that kind of fell through but in the meantime, we got some wonderful new props in the spoils of that reap of what they sowed. So with all that being said, let's jump in and check these out. Number one with the Arse Arika, Arika Palm. Yeah. So these guys are based off of the Lipstick Palm. I'm just going to check these guys out in here. These guys originally were kind of bright, kind of red. But the Arika Palm are so much more subdued and perfect for little tropical areas. Kind of like over here for this mod that we'll get to in just a little bit. But with all that being said, these guys are wonderful. A lot more, more like less subdued. I guess that kind of makes sense. A lot more efficient for more tropical areas. And just a wonderful way to get some more green into your parks. But moving on through there, we have the Golden Bamboo. Probably my favorite props in this entire set. These guys are based off of the Bengal and Fountain Bamboo from the original base game, and they just look absolutely insane for the most part. These guys are wonderful when it comes to making your Asian areas, and I can't recommend these guys enough. They are perfect and beautiful and bountiful, and all of those wonderful adjectives that go along with that. We also have some wonderful fever trees as well. We're just going to breeze through them right here. We have the dry fever tree, which is a little bit more of a dead version. Unfortunately, this one has some kind of messed up lots, but I believe they'll fix that soon enough. But over here, we have the two working ones, at least. These guys are perfect for more so dead areas. If you have like a zoo in the dry season, these guys are perfect for that. And we also have the green fever acacia trees. These guys are a lot more brighter than our normal acacia trees. So if we look up acacia, or if we actually look up yellow, this is, or fever. I honestly forget what they're called. These guys are a lot more yellow. They have these kind of whitish spots on them that I don't really like, kind of like the thorns. But these guys are a lot better when it comes to that. They just feel a lot more natural, and I really do appreciate that. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that the first four minutes were about props. But hey, moving forward, we have some really badass animals in here, starting first and foremost with the Acrocanthosaurus. Oh my gosh. Sib has been going wild with porting a dino a day into Planet Zoo, and it's just really awesome to see him do all of this. First and foremost, the Acrocanthosaurus is a beautiful theropod. Look at these guys. Look at their teeth. They look kind of goofy, but they look kind of badass too, which I really do like. I love the orange skin that Sib chose for these guys. They look really awesome. And you may be wondering, hey, what the hell is this even based on? Well, if you guys can probably hear the howling in the back, this is actually based off of the Arctic Wolf. I know, a little bit of a weird choice, but check out how these guys move when they walk. It's actually the perfect choice because their walking cycle is really, really amazing when it comes to all of their animations. I mean, just look at them go kind of like that. It's really amazing. I know we don't have any theropod accurate rigs in the game, unfortunately, but the Arctic Wolf serves as a wonderful little rig when it comes to all that stuff. So if you guys are hoping to get a little bit more dinosaur action, the Acrocanthosaurus by Sib is a wonderful one at that. Also, just a couple of things to note before we continue on here. Going back to the Season 2 showcase map, I really do like this map 
just for the most part. And it's so much easier than making a whole map from scratch. So I hope you guys don't mind if we go back to this one. Plus it already has all the water areas already populated. Gotta give a huge shout out to ZZ for all the corals over there. It's just so much easier and I love this map so much more. And also, I am still sick. I do apologize if I sound a little nasally. I got a little bit of a little sinus congestion issue if you guys are okay passing up on that. But I hope you guys do understand me when I just want to make the most amount of videos for you guys, but also trying to, you know, stay safe and stay healthy. But hey, let's talk about the crane. Oh my gosh. So Bongo Hardwood has been going wild with the cranes. First, it was the Brolgo, which was amazing. But look at this, the Red Crown Crane. Now, these guys are an Asian crane. These guys are found in Roger Williams Park Zoo, which is always a plus. But look at this, they're so beautiful. They actually do have some very special animations when it comes to feathers. So when they do mate and do stuff like that, they will actually outstretch their wings. I'm not sure if we could kind of see any model parts of them in there, we really can't. But they look beautiful when they do it. Check out the Nexus page linked down below in case if you guys do want to see that animation but with all that being said unique baby looking beautiful as always bongo you literally have my heart my good friend oh my gosh when i come over to england i'm buying you a friggin cider or beer or whatever the hell you drink because you've been blessing our game so much recently but moving on through here we're going back to another avian species haha <laughs> get it um this is the velociraptor Port it over from JWE by SubCDC, as always. Check out the male right here. Oh my gosh, he seems so scary. But these guys do have unique females and males and babies as well. Look at the little baby! Look at that little animation! Oh my god, I love that. But with all being said, these guys are really cool. They are based off of the Arctic Wolf. As I said before, these guys are going to use all those habitat and enrichment items. And it's just really awesome to get a lot more carnivores in. I know people may feel a little bit overwhelmed with all the herbivores that Siv ported in, but it's just really awesome to see Siv move on. In these little sections, it's always great to see that. So the Velociraptor is a very, very welcome choice. Siv, if you're listening, buddy, I hope you'd port over the original Jurassic Park 1 Velociraptor. If you don't, I would very much love to do that myself. That's definitely my favorite version of the Velociraptor. And hey, listen, I can't, I'm just happy that you were able to bring these guys in. But with all that being said, we're gonna part ways with our little Velociraptors and move on. We're actually gonna check out an aquatic, aquatic pack animal. Yes, we have the Diamondback Terrapin as our next mod. You may be saying, hey, Leaf, I thought that's already in the game. But Seth sought out to making this a new species, and I wanted to help him out a little bit to make him just perfect. Now, with all that being said, the Diamondback Terrapin is based off of the Cuvier Swarf Cayman, so they do actually swim. You can see him kind of swim around right now. But these guys are really cool to finally have as habitat animals. I know a lot of people have some issues with that uh, exhibit box system, which, you know, I do too. It's not really my favorite system in the game. But... If you are hoping to populate your land with a lot more turtles, with a lot more ambient animals, these guys are perfect when it comes to that. These guys are actually not the accurate size. If we do put a Frank in here, and yes, Harry, I'm going back to using Franks. I can't forget my heritage. We'll use a thick ass Frank. These guys are a little bit too big. Diamondback Terrapins really aren't that big. When they actually are realistically sized, we could pop into this little aquarium to check them out. I wanted to have them swimming through here as well. But this is how they actually would look. I'm not sure why this guy is a little bit stuck right now. Uh, I think they may be a little bit bugged. This is probably an issue with a lot of caiman based animals. They do tend to get stuck every so often, but once we reset them to the land, they should reside back to their watery selves in just a little bit. But. Hopefully I can show you guys how they go in land. But with all that being said, we'll check that out in just a little bit. I gotta show off our next beautiful creature. This one is the Dryosaurus. These guys are my favorites. If you guys have seen my Jurassic Park, like Jurassic World Evolution rating video, 
these guys are like in their own category all the way on the top because they're my favorite. And of course, Sib had to port these guys in and he did such a wonderful job at doing so. They are based off of the Aardvark fun fact, so they will actually burrow. Uh, hopefully we can see this guy burrow in a little bit. Yeah, they kind of do burrow. But it's not really the best for the adults, so maybe we could actually see maybe a little bit of a burrow mod. This is actually not the worst. It's a little bit cramped in here, but I've seen better. When the juveniles actually do burrow, it actually works so much better. In fact, I'll probably do that right now. I'll actually move the juvenile over to the Albertosaurus exhibit, and we could check out the Albertos in a little bit. But let me actually select these guys and not the plants. Let me just delete all that. Who even cares about the foliage? Albertosaurus, let's look at these guys. Holy crap. Sib, I love you. Oh my god. I love how many theropods you're bringing into the game. And look at him run. Oh my gosh. Again, these guys are based off the Arctic Wolf, as always. They will be using all those animations and habitat enrichment items. The Albertosaurus is a bit more of a colder-blooded theropod, not colder-blooded, but they prefer colder weather. They're found in mainland day, main day Alberta, Canada, specifically. So these guys are pretty badass. You often see these guys in JWE videos having a lot more colder exhibits. That's an adult. I don't want an adult. I want a baby in there just so I can show off. But actually, it seems like all the babies kind of grew up. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I got to show off the burrowing. Actually, maybe not. Nah, never mind. You guys can see pictures of it when I post them on the forums or something. But these guys are badass. But yeah, we must move on as always. We have a lot of other awesome mods to check out as well with the eastern wild turkey i do apologize if i'm a little frazzled right now i recorded this once before and of course i wasn't recording the gameplay so i apologize if i am rushing through this a little bit too fast but with all that being said these guys are badass so rihanna obviously brought in the australian brush turkey she also brought in the oscillated turkey and now narwhaler has completed the trifecta with the eastern wild turkey these guys are beautiful even though narwhaler is spanish he knows the american spirit he knows what we're on about and these guys are perfect he even did the dewlap pretty damn well look at how it's animated it wiggles too i'm just amazed at that amazing job narwhaler the train looks beautiful as well i have no clue how you were able to do it but it looks so beautiful this is frontier quality right here but amazing job, Narwhaler. Of course, there's babies and females as well. But listen, we always care about the male. This guy looks badass, all right? But as always, we must move on with the biggest and baddest for last. Yes, we have the Spinosaurus. Now, even though it's not a paleo accurate one, I still do love the Jurassic Park 3 brand of Spinosaurus so much. And these guys are menacing. So I'm just going to face this guy in the right direction so we could see them they are based off of the arctic wolf i feel like i always got to reiterate that but these guys look so bad ass the baby is even unique too it has its own unique sail and some unique differences i think the face is a little bit smoother as well but of course the female and male stay towering over you and look absolutely badass so of course you can probably see them go in for a little bit of a drink or go for a little bit of a swim yeah there they go he's just she's just chilling in the hot tub i guess but the spinosaurus looks badass these guys are so freaking cool obviously you wouldn't really see a paleo accurate spinosaur based off of the arctic wolf you probably see them based off of like the uh, salty or something like that i think tnt was actually working on one i mean look at this this is a little ridiculous no offense to you sib listen sib you know i love you buddy this is just frontier over here but with all being said let's actually find our baby again because i love the baby did i lose the baby hold on we gotta open up this one where'd that baby even go boys we gotta find that little baby oh my god he's learned how to swim oh my god look at him go okay that's mad cute holy crap yeah that's adorable but with all that being said that's it for our entire mod showcase 
the first showcase of 2022. It's been a blast in 2021 with you guys, and I can't wait to see where we go from here. But as always, I'm going to tell you guys my favorites. Favorite extant mod, as always, is going to be the Red Crown Crane. These guys are dapper AF, and I love them. Amazing job, Bongo. You constantly blow us all away with your impressive, impeccable work. And as always, my favorite dinosaur has got to be the Drysaurus. Look at these guys. I love the different skins. These are perfect over here. Oh my gosh. But with all that being said, I don't know where we're going to end it on. I think we could actually end it on the Dryos. Yeah, we can end it on the Dryos. Why not? Let's get their foliage back in there too. Uh, as always guys, thank you guys so much, especially for getting us to 5k. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. What else can be said? You guys are literally the best. But moving on from there, we have a long road to 10k. So definitely do drop a sub down below. If you guys are new here, we'll have a 10k special. We'll do something funky for that. I don't know. Leaf face reveal. I don't know. You guys can hold me to that. But with all that being said, look forward to the 5k live stream. I will be having more information on that pretty soon. I'll even give away a copy of the European DLC. Screw it. Why not? I'm putting that in stone right now. But with all that being said, I really do appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys so much for the year of support. And here's to another. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.